Free speech on full display within the hour outside Great American Ballpark. The words were loud and pointed at times, but things ended peacefully. Not on your sides, Tom McKee joins us live with more. Tom? Well, on one side here outside Great American Ballpark, you had faith based leaders who were seeking to have Major League Baseball address racial injustice during the All Star game, which is going to be held here in just a few weeks. On the other side was Robert Ramsdell who carried signs behind the speakers as that news conference was going on. Just listen. We're here to say the, 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 time, the time of whites standing by. You're killing some innocent black men. You're killing children. Black men. Black men are killing other black men. I don't believe there's any whites in this country that are killing black men without that being shown. That was, some of the, that was some of the exchange between Robert Ransdell and Iris Rowley and Marsha Ogletree after Bishop Bobby Hilton of the National Action Network stopped his news conference because signs were carried behind him talking about diversity means uh, something that was other than the uh, people we're talking to right now. Um, again, I talked to, uh, I talked to, uh, okay, we have that videotape now of the bishop. Let's play it right for you. I'll speak to you at the end of this. I'll be more than happy to speak to you later. And that was Bishop Hilton again, as those signs were carried behind him, disrupting that news conference. There were some heated exchanges, as you did here, but again, everything was peaceful. I talked to some of the folks afterward, and they said it's simply free speech on display at its best. Tom McKean, out on your side, live outside Great American Ballpark. All right.